What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and as you can tell by the title of this video, we got some pretty sad news to bring to you dudes. It seems like this is the end of the road for Project M. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's basically an amazing hack for Smash Bros. Brawl that allowed for melee physics in the game, and it gave it more of a competitive feel, considering that, you know, Brawl by itself wasn't really looked upon as the most competitive Smash Bros. game ever, but it's sad to see this project go under. In terms of my earliest memories of it, like, if we're talking way, way back, it was, it, it must have been like, uh, damn, man, how old was I when, well, okay, it wasn't PM, but my first memory of playing Brawl Hacks came from Project, um, Project Minus, no, 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 not Project Minus, it was, um, Brawl Minus, and I know they had Brawl Plus and Minus, Minus was the one where they broke every character to the point where the game was sort of balanced because everyone was so over the top, and there used to be so many awesome ways that you could use the characters that were advanced from Brawl. It was a damn good time, and I used to play that at my cousin's house all the time, so even though I didn't have a Wii myself, I would still be engaged in the um, Brawl hacking scene in its early stages, and this was way before I had a YouTube channel, or even knew that there was a competitive Smash community online. Like, I knew there was one in tournaments, but I didn't know that it existed so much online. This was probably when I was like 17 or 18, something like that, and that was my earliest memory of playing these um, Brawl hacks, and then afterwards, my cousin he comes up and he says, you know, hey man, you know, as much as Brawl Minus is fun, the game is a little over the top to consider it serious in a way. So then he installed this PM thing, which had started up around that time. And it was definitely more welcome than playing Natural Brawl. The game had a lot more balance to it. It was easier to get grudge matches in there with friends. And this is something that we always did at my cousin's house. Just play a ton of fucking PM endlessly. And in those early days, the project didn't have as much shine on it as it does now, or rather it did. So... It was. It, it felt more. It felt like more like I was on the ground floor of the whole thing. And you know, years later, I don't really play it as much now. Um, my my girlfriend's my girlfriend's brother actually has the game on his Wii. And when I was living with her for a couple of months, guess what I was playing in order to hold the Smash bug away while we were waiting for a Wii U and 3DS version of Smash to come out. We were playing PM, dude. And like I told you guys, this maybe some of you older guys might remember. Kirby was my main, and dude, it was just such a damn good time. I remember. My brother, um, well, I call him my brother because he's my girlfriend's brother, but um, my brother-in-law, I'm not married to her, but I mean, uh, whatever. Um, my brother-in-law, he would always bring his friends over and they would always try to get at me because I was the best one at Smash in the entire group because I understood you know, how DI works and shit. So they would always try to challenge me at the goddamn game. And I, I would beat their ass every time. And I was saying to myself, man, I'm so prepared for Smash 3DS and Wii U. I'm going to be awesome, man. <laughs> the game comes out and I get my ass fucking handed to me. But I mean... Project M, there's, there's so many great memories with it, and I, I, I'm just waiting for the people in the comments to say, oh, you weren't a competitive player, so how does this affect you? That's like saying, if like Will Smith died today, uh, that I don't care because I didn't watch one of his movies recently. Like, that's some bullshit, dude. It's the emotion and the memories that truly mean a lot in situations like this. Uh, this project is definitely going to be missed, dude. It, one thing that I'll say PM did better than Nintendo in a lot of cases is fan service. There were so many little things that they threw in from games and they modified characters to make them pay more homage to their original appearances. Like, I love what they did with Wario. Um, I love what, how they included that taunt from Earthbound with Lucas, and a lot of people were like loving that. There, there's so many things that PM did to make people realize that, hey, there are some people that do know where these characters come from, we know what their moves should be, and we're gonna modify them to do just that. I love what they did with Ganondorf and all that. And the fact that PM is now gone, well, let's go into the details of this first off. So we have this post on Twitter, which was done 24 minutes ago, and it starts with, friends, it has been a magnificent journey. Please visit our website for one last blog post. Guys, this is some really sad news, and I know there's gonna be a ton of speculation as to why this is the case, of course, obviously, we can't ignore the fact that PM wasn't exactly 100% on legal grounds. Because it was Nintendo's property, the fact that it was being modified and things were being added on and taken away without any sort of licensing applied or any kind of legality there, the fact that the game was now being played at tournaments, that had to end. You know, it, it's kind of complicated because, you know, if the Smash scene wanted Nintendo's help on things, they would have had to have stopped playing PM at these tournaments or else Nintendo wouldn't be a part of it because, you know, PM was on really shaky legal ground. There's, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of aspects to the reason why this probably happened. You know, I'm not just saying that's the only one, but that definitely probably was a contributing factor. I mean, have you noticed how PM is not really played in tournaments anymore on Twitch and other places like that? Anyways, let's, let's, take, let's take a look at this, man. So six years ago, we started a journey born out of our shared love for competitive fighting games. Eventually, the electrifying passion that coursed through us 
arced out and drew in more people until our small circle of friends grew into a team. And that team grew into an international community. Project M has, and its community, have grown larger than any of us ever anticipated, and it's truly heartwarming to see all of the unforgettable connections and friendships that have been forged through this project. you goddamn right, man. Damn, nigga. It's kind of sad, dude. Unfortunately, we're here to say that we are at the end of that road. We've learned so much in the process of making, making Project M, accumulating life-changing lessons in communication, teamwork, professionalism, work ethic, and more. But there's only so far we can take those skills in a volunteer project. With this in mind, we've made a difficult business decision. We're ready to finish development here and move on to bigger and better ventures. We realize that this will come to a shock, as, come as a shock to many of our fans, so please forgive us. Again, it's been an excruciating call to make, but we've been making it a bit easier by our satisfaction with the previous and final release, version 3.6. We spent six years polishing PM, and rather than let it drag on through another several years of dwindling, dwindling development and change fatigue in the competitive circle, we are going to consider our work complete. And, you know, it was always in progress, you know, like that's why multiple versions of it will come out regularly. Um, in the meantime, we plan to be hard at work on new projects built from the ground up. Damn! We're gonna be hard at work on projects built from the ground up and you know that that goes back to what I said beforehand the fact that PM is a modification of a Nintendo game that doesn't have any licensing or copyright handled like it's basically basically kind of sort of illegal in a sense um, we're going to be um, we're not going to spill the beans let, yet but we're going to look towards a fresh start with brand new designs rather than splitting our focus many of us want to dedicate ourselves to this new venture fully in this way we hope to maintain the level of quality and professionalism you've come to expect from us so in summary, we are ceasing development of Project M effective immediately, and we will be making no further releases as we turn our attention towards an entirely new venture. As the PM dev team will be formally disbanded, please forward all official communications regarding PM to video game attorney and business consultant Ryan Morrison, and we appreciate your support and understanding. And one final time, PM dev, thank you for playing. Fasten your wrist strap to contain hype. God damn, nigga. So this is basically the end of PM, guys. I know there's going to be a lot of opinions about this. I want to hear them all in the comments below. What are you, what are your earliest memories of this game? Because you know it, it's kind of old when you think about it. I mean, six years ago, that's some time, dude. Like I said, when PM first came out, I was uh, 18, I believe. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I was like 18, 19. And damn, dude, like there's just so many memories with this game, and it was always there. And you could always expect something new with those updates. Whenever my um, brother-in-law used to update the game himself. And it's sad that those aren't really going to happen anymore. I really need to play this game again. I just don't have a Wii myself. I would always play it at other people's houses. But, um, yeah, guys. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? Anyways, I will talk to you all in the next video. I'm really sad to see this project go. I know a lot of people worked with it, too. Um, like my friend Strongbad. I wonder what he's going to do with this whole thing. But, alright, dudes. I'll talk to you later.